May I come in, sir? For sure. Good afternoon, sir. Have your seat. Thank you, sir. Your name is Niharika Sinha, right? Yes, sir. Are you comfortable enough? Yes. In which language you are comfortable? Sir, Hindi or English? Uh, I'm comfortable in both. Mm. Introduce yourself in two to three lines, mentioning your hobby, graduation college, that's it. Uh, sir, I did my 10th from uh, St. Joseph's Convent High School. Then I did my 12th from Notre Dame Academy. Uh, then after I graduated from Patna Women's College in 2022, I did their uh, um, economics honors. While in college, I studied Korean language and culture as an add-on course. And uh, then after I started preparing for BPSC examinations. My hobbies are uh, watching Korean dramas and uh, spending time with my pet. Thank you, sir. When was Patna Women's College established? Sir, it was established in 1940. By whom? Uh, uh, sir, it was started by uh, B.J. Sulevan. Who is he? Uh, sir, he, uh, he... Who is was, he or who is he? Uh, sir, he is uh, he, he. He is a male or a female? He is male. B.J. Sulevan. What he used to do? Uh, Can you tell me he is, he is, a, he is a very famous personality? Yes, sir. He has done a lot of work in the field of the education. He used to yes, live in Bankipur, Patna. Yes, sir. His other achievement, apart from establishing the Patna Women's College? Uh, sir, right now I am not able to recall. Sorry, sir. Not a big issue. Indian National Congress, one session was held at Bankipur in Patna. Yes, sir. Which was that session and when, when it was held? You are from Patna, right? Yes, sir. Sir, it was the 27th uh, session. It was held in 1912. Who was the president or the chairman of that session? Uh, sir, as far, I, uh, as far as I remember, it was R.C. Majumdar. R.C. Majumdar? Sorry, sir. I think I was you? Yes, sir. Mudhulkar? <laughs> yes, sir. It was Mudhulkar. Was Mudhulkar. Mudhulkar. Thank you, sir. There was one session held at Gaya. Yes, sir. Which was that session? Uh, Sir, it was 1923 session. Are you sure enough? Oh. Sir, can I uh, ah, say Take again? a time. If you want water, we can have it. Sir, it was 1922 okay. session. Okay. Who was it was presided by? Mm. Don't feel nervous. Take yes. your time. If you want water, you can have Thank you, sir. What is this? Sir, uh, I'm not able to recall. Not this. a big deal. Not a big deal Thanks. at all. You, as you have said that you are a graduate in economics, right? Yes, sir. What is the rank of India in terms of the GDP? Sir, in terms of GDP, we are at uh, uh, fifth position. But if I say India is at the third position, then what do I mean to state? Sir, it means that uh, we are in third position in terms of uh, pur uh, purchasing power parity. Excellent. What is different between GDP in terms of the PPP and the general GDP? We are talking about which you talked about the fifth rank of the India. Yes, sir. What is the difference between the two? Sir, I am not able to differentiate between the two. Not a big deal. Thank you, sir. Who is the chief economic advisor at present? Chief economic, uh, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, he is Mr. V. Anantha Nageshwaran. Have you heard something about Vivek Deboroy? Yes, sir. A committee was formed on his he, name. He is a well known economist, you know? Yes, sir. <coughs> he is related to the railway committee, right? Uh, sir, I am not able to recall which committee he was related he, to. I will help you. Yes, sir. Then you will have to help me. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Vivek Deboroy recommended that there should not be an annual budget for the railway, it should be merged with the union budget. Yes, and we are following that. Yes. Sir. Vivek Debroy is a head of a committee which advises the Prime Minister at present. What is the name of that committee? Uh, sir, Prime Minister Economic Advisor. Excellent. Thank is the Prime sir. Minister Economic Advisor. Can you mention a book written by Vivek Debroy? Sir, right now I am not able to recall. I am sorry, sir. Okay. What is the rank of India as per the recent economic survey? in terms of the growth rate? Uh, sir, uh, pardon sir. What is the rank of India? What is the growth rate of India? Uh, what is the growth rate of the Bihar as per the recent economic survey? India, Bihar is at the first position, second position, third position in terms of the growth rate. Mm. Sir, it is at the second position. Are you sure? Yes, as per sir. the recent economic survey I am talking about. Yes, sir. I, as far as I remember. Okay. 
as per your notion whether it is second or third bihar is growing at the bihar is being the third largest growing economy in the country yes will you allow me to say but we have a job crisis we have a job yes. crisis at present yes sir we have can you tell me if i say that it is because of a base effect have you heard something about base effect in the terms yes. of the economy yes what is a base effect if i say it is because of the base effect what is base effect sir base effect is basically uh, we take a, a year as a financial year as a base year uh, and we compare uh, the what is the base year at present 2011 and 12 how you choose a base year why we have not taken 2020 uh, as the base year sir. why such a whole data 20 2011 20 is the base year yes sir it is not giving me the right picture of the economy why not to take 2020 20 as the base year Uh, sir, right now I am not able to differentiate between. I will help you. Yes, thank you, sir. The base year has to be a normal year. Yes, sir. What is the problem with the two zero two zero? Ah, uh, sir, pandemic year. It It's a pandemic, pandemic year. Yes, sir. If you take a pandemic year as a base year, it will have a base effect. It will give you a false impression about the economy. Yes, sir. I have one more question to ask. Who, which department of the, which department prepares the at the country level? Which department prepares the union budget? Union budget. sir uh, as i remember it's uh, ministry of finance okay. i'll ask you one more question bihar government has given reservation to the women yes sir do you think reservation is a tool of empowerment uh in my opinion sir it is a tool uh, we should give a reservation to women at present is there any reservation for the women in panchayat yes sir we have then there is a concept of the panchayat pati sarpanch pati mukhya pati Uh, sir i uh, agree with you in this uh, opinion but uh, there are some loopholes in every uh, system uh, this is one of them we can uh, overcome and but it is not distinct the whole purpose of the reservation you said that reservation is a tool of empowerment yes sir bihar government gave the empowerment in the form of the election in the form of the panchayat yes. in the form of mukhya but the husband is hijacking it and he is becoming a mukhya pati sarpanch pati the whole motto of the reservation is getting gifted Uh, yes, sir. that's why I said there are some loopholes in the uh, what system. Could, what could be done? Uh, um, regular inspections could be done on the offices. We can um, uh, uh, empower the women. Like it's your right. You should, uh, if you are being elected, you should see the uh, panchayat. We can uh, empower the women in in these respects. What is your post preference? Sir, uh, first pro, uh, post preference is a probationary <laughs> officer. Probationary officer. Yes, sir. I'll ask you last two questions. Yes. Bihar government has done socio economic caste census or socio economic caste survey Sir it was socio economic caste survey What is different between a census and a survey Sir in census we uh, take uh, uh, take out the number of uh, people residing in a place Is Bihar government capable enough or has the authority to go for the census uh, Sir I don't think it it was in their uh, uh, jurisdiction to do a uh, uh, census so they did the uh, survey this was said by our chief minister when this the fact of the matter is which department of the bihar government does the look after this social survey caste survey kaun sa vibhag kiya hai bihar government ka kaun sa vibhag kiya hai isko sir i am not able to recall it right now sochi kuch thoda dimag lagai yes sir i'll give you the opportunity सर मेरे हिसाब से अभी मुझे लग रहा है होम मिनिस्ट्री करवाया था सामान्य प्रशासन विभाग जनरल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन कर रहा है जो गृह विभाग के अंदर होम मिनिस्ट्री मुझे मेरा आपसे एक दो और प्रश्न है yes. क्या आपको लगता है अभी बिहार के गवर्नर कौन है डॉक्टर uh, uh, राजेंद्र आर्लेकर मेरा आपसे दूसरा प्रश्न है की अगर मैं आपसे एक चीज पूछू yes. बिहार के एक ऐसे फ्रीडम फाइटर का नाम जो महिला है जो आपको या महिलाओं के लिए इंस्पिरेशन की स्रोत है वो कौन हो सकते हैं आपके दृष्टिकोण से फ्रीडम फाइटर फ्रीडम फाइटर सर मुझे याद नहीं आ रहा है सर एक पॉइंट याद आ रहा है सर राजेंद्र प्रसाद की बहन भी फ्रीडम फाइटर थी उनका नाम हेल्प आपको करूं यस सर प्रभावती करके कुछ नाम है उनका सर उनकी बहन का 
ठीक है आप इसको देखेंगे एक दो और मेरे प्रश्न है बिहार वॉज द एपी सेंटर ऑफ नाइनटीन फोर्टी टू फिट इंडिया मूवमेंट हु वॉज द हीरो ऑफ द फिट इंडिया मूवमेंट इन बिहार सर एट दैट टाइम इट वॉज जेपी नारायण हु बिकेम द हीरो ऑफ द जयप्रकाश नारायण को क्या कहते हैं उनकी क्या उपाधि जनता उनको क्या कहती है सर देश नायक आर यू श्योर इनफ सर नो सर आई एम नॉट श्योर फिर राजेंद्र प्रसाद को क्या कहती है जनता या उनको उपाधि क्या मिलता है सर उपाधि याद नहीं है पटना एयरपोर्ट का नाम किस फ्रीडम फाइटर के नाम पर है जयप्रकाश नारायण जी के नाम पे लोकनायक किसको कहते हैं सर उन्हीं को कहते हैं लोकमान्य किसको कहते हैं लोकमान्य तिलक बाल गंगाधर तिलक को और लोकनायक जेपी नारायण आप पटना की रहने वाली हैं जी सर पटना का नाम गांधी मैदान कब पड़ा सर पटना का नाम सॉरी जो आप आपके समक्ष जो गांधी मैदान है इसका पटना लॉन से नाम गांधी मैदान कब पड़ा इसका पहले नाम पटना लॉन था आ, सर मुझे इसका नाम पटना लॉन था इसका नाम गांधी मैदान बाद में पड़ा कब पड़ा सर मैं गैस कर सकती हूँ बिल्कुल सर जेपी आंदोलन के टाइम पड़ा होगा मुझे ऐसा मैं आपसे ऐसा मत हूँ मैं आपसे एक दो क्वेश्चन और पूछना चाहता हूँ अगर आपके कोई दोस्त बाहर रहते हैं रिश्तेदार बाहर रहते हैं जी सर। वो पटना आते हैं और आपको बोलते हैं कि मुझे एक हिस्टोरिकल साइट दिखा दो कौन सी जगह पर आप ले जाएंगे सर गोलघर गोलघर कौन बनवाया सर वॉरन हेस्टिंग्स वॉरन हेस्टिंग्स गवर्नर जनरल वॉरन हेस्टिंग्स बनवाया कौन उसके आर्किटेक्ट जॉन गार्डिंग गार्डिंग गैस्टिंग सर कौन से किस मकसद से बनाया गया उसको सर अनाज को रखने के लिए स्टोर हाउस के रूप में बनाया गया था क्योंकि बाढ़ आते थे निहारिका यू आर ओके फाइन परफेक्ट निहारिका जो भी कॉन्वर्सेशन हुआ उसमें मुझे पर्सनली एक ये लगता है कि यू आर कंफ्यूज्ड अदरवाइज व्हाई वुड अ 2022 ग्रेजुएट फ्रॉम इकोनॉमिक्स चूज एन ऑप्शनल हिस्ट्री दैट मेक्स नो सेंस टू मी सर आई चूज हिस्ट्री एज एन ऑप्शनल बिकॉज Uh, there was an availability of the subject at that time when I was preparing for prelims, and at that time uh, it was scrapped out. The main uh, pre- uh, optional paper was scrapped out, so I thought I could do better in this history subject and give more time to my GS papers. It will, uh, it would have increased my rank there. So I thought to give more no, time. No, but to you GS already papers. had spent two to three years in economics while yes, you were sir. in your college, so that would have been easier for you. Sir, it would have been easier, but when I uh, saw the sub uh, syllabus of the subject, there were some subjects, uh, uh, there were some portions which I had read in first year, so I had to brush up them all, and I have already studied history here, so I thought it would have been easier for me to do this. Okay, going by that also, for a layman like me who has never studied economics, yes, sir. Tell me the differences between microeconomics and macroeconomics. Yes, at microeconomics we study the uh, uh, micro levels of uh, fundamentals of economics, where we uh, pay more attention to industry and firms. Whereas at my uh, macroeconomics level, we study the economy of a country. We take uh, country as a whole. Okay, could you tell me two three indicators of micro as well as macro? Micro, sir. At micro level, we. Uh, Pay more attention to the factors of production, like uh, wage, uh, profit, and entrepreneurship. And uh, at uh, at ma- macroeconomic level, we see the uh, indicators of uh, macroeconomic fundamentals like inflation, uh, unemployment, all these things. Would you consider growth, a uh, gross domestic product (GDP) as microeconomics indicator or macroeconomics indicator? Sir, we take it as macroeconomic indicator. And uh, per capita income, what would that be called? Sir, we also take it as macroeconomic indicator. Why? This indicates the income of a person only. That is very minimum. You cannot even go beyond that. That is the what do you say fundamental unit. You can can you can you go to any smaller unit of that? You should have. We should consider it micro. Why do not we consider it? Sir, uh, at this point, I the point I can think of is um, by taking the average of one person's income, we can uh, estimate the income of the whole society at that point. 
sir this is is it the per income of a single person or is an average income of a single person averaged out sir uh, it's the average of the person what do you feel what is, which is a better indicator to determine the growth or economic development of a country gdp or per capita income sir in my opinion uh, gdp is more okay beneficial. why do you think so sir uh, because in uh, sir i'm not able to think of this no income. issues but uh, okay fine have you heard about hindu rate of growth yes sir i have heard about it what is this uh, sir i'm not able to no issues yes, uh, do you read newspaper yes sir have you come across any term like hindutva rate of growth these recent days no sir uh while you were giving your introduction you have mentioned you like to uh, watch korean dramas yes what is so peculiar about korean dramas what is so special that you were so much interested in that why not bhojpuri drama or hindi drama why not sir so while in my first year in my in, in my college i read korean language so that time i got interested in watching the dramas uh, but since childhood you have been speaking hindi english you should have got interested in those first if you go by that logic yes sir i do watch hindi dramas but uh, they are very fascinating to watch and uh, moreover uh, they end in like 7 to 8 episodes so you don't have to give all your time to the drama every time okay have you gone through the history of korea have you ever tried uh, to no why is such so much hostile relationship between these two countries north korea south korea have you ever thought about this sir uh, i have read about uh, the hostility of north korea and south korea but i'm not able to recall uh, at the moment which uh, latitude divides the both countries sorry sir i'm not able to recall this koi baat nahi hai thank you aapne kaznets curve ke bare mein sun rakha hai Yes sir. What is this? Uh, sir it uh, revolves around igno um, environmental economics. Okay. Curve. No for a person uh, who is uh, like me who understands x axis and y axis what x axis represents in Gaznet's curve and why what y axis represents. Sorry sir I'm not able to recall this. Uh, no issues. Thank you sir. Uh, my last question to you would be Since uh, you have studied in Patna Women's College, why do uh, women or girls choose to study in a women's college? Why not in a co-ed? What's the reason behind this? Sir, uh, in my opinion, I was comfortable with both, uh, but on a larger scale, we see that women prefer women's college more because uh, they feel safer there. This is their indication. But if you go to the villages or anywhere, yes, sir. the violence against women is mostly done by women itself yes sir i am so heard about it. their women do not feel secure in the vicinity of women themselves sir so. there are some uh, um, incidents but we cannot uh, hinder uh, hinder that path coming in our way that, uh, that women are atrocitizing the women so we will stop studying in women's college so don't you think studying in a coed will give you better opportunity to learn about the other gender yes sir than being confined in your own gender yes sir i feel uh, studying in a coed is more uh, brings overall development to a woman or the male itself so given a chance would you uh, and if you could go in the past would you want to change your college no sir i would not like to change my college i have few more questions for yes sir You are a graduate of the economics from prestigious Patna Women's College. Yes. Who is the father of economics? Adam Smith. Sir. Who is the father of macroeconomics? As he asked you about what is a macro and microeconomics. Macroeconomics, sir. Uh, Jim Keynes. Jim Keynes. Yes, sir. And who is the father of the microeconomics? Sir Adam Smith. Adam. Yes, sir. I have one or two more questions to ask. Yes, sir. Which line separates? He talked about the latitude. Which because you are more interested in Korean drama. Yes, sir. Which line separates North Korea and South Korea? Mm. Sir, can I make a guess? Oh, yeah. Of course, of course. Sir, it was thirty fourth or forty fourth parallel line. Sure enough. Uh, I think it was this, but I am not okay. sure. 
there is one line in the do you read newspapers yes sir i read there is often called as the india is the leader of a global south yes sir then there must be a global north uh, yes sir we have global which line separates or which imaginary line separates global north and global south uh, sir the imaginary line we take is our equator are you sure yes sir i think it's the equator global north and, there is a name to that line sir i'm not able to recall that line that is called brand line brand line Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. No, I have one more questions to ask before I let you go. Yes, sir. What is your opinion about dowry? Dowry. Dowry. What is? There is a. Often it is seen that there is a dowry case against the male person. Yes, sir. It means there is something called as a dowry in our yes, system. Sir. Are you in the favor of giving dowry? No, sir. I'm not in the favor of giving dowries. But what if a person? Generally, it is seen that you want to give something. If I give voluntarily to my daughter, will it be called as a dowry? Sir, can I reply this in of, Hindi? Of course, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Sir, वो पिता का मत होता है कि उन्हें अपनी बेटी को गिफ्ट देना है जो आज के ज़माने में गिफ्ट बोला जाता है वो दे वो उन्हें क्योंकि वो उनकी बेटी है वो देना चाहते हैं बेटी को दे पर अब डाउरी को देखा जाता है कि ससुराल पक्ष के लोग मुँह खोल के जो मांगते हैं वो मांगना डाउरी कहा जाता है अगर पिता अपनी बेटी को देना चाहे तो वो उनका अधिकार है दे सकते हैं क्योंकि पिता की संपत्ति में बेटी का भी हक होता है पर ऐसा बिहार के दृष्टिकोण में देखा जाता है कि महिलाओं को भी बराबर का अधिकार है पिता की संपत्ति में जी सर पर उसको वो क्लेम नहीं करती हैं ऐसा क्यों सर उनकी मानसिकता है कि अगर वो भाई से मांग लेंगी पिता से मांग लेंगी तो उनके रिलेशन खराब हो जाएंगे उनके साथ जो अब बदलते जा रहा है पिता खुद ही अपनी संपत्ति आधी आधी बांट देते हैं अगर उनके बेटे या बेटी हैं तो लेकिन ऐसा प्रैक्टिकल तौर पर देखा जाता है बिहार के दृष्टिकोण में अगर हम देखें कि जौरी चूंकि वह लड़की वापस नहीं मांगती है यूजली जो लीगली लीगली वो बिल्कुल एक्सेप्टेबल है तो उसके एवज में वो शादी के पहले ही जब शादी होती है तो वो दे देते हैं तो आप डॉरी को किस परिदृश्य में देखती है मतलब अगर सामने वाले ने मुँह खोल मांगा तो वो डॉरी है अगर पिता ने स्वेच्छा से दे दिया तो वो डॉरी नहीं है यही आप कहना चाहते हैं यस सर एक अंतिम सवाल मेरा ये है जी सर ऐसा देखा जाता है कि इंटर कास्ट मैरिज पर आपका क्या ओपिनियन है सर पॉजिटिव ओपिनियन है इंटर कास्ट मैरिज कोई अभिशाप नहीं है हमारे सोसाइटी के लिए लिविंग रिलेशनशिप पर आपका क्या ओपिनियन है सर लिविंग भी ठीक है अगर दो इंसान सहमत है अपने रिलेशनशिप को लेके कि वो अपने रिलेशनशिप आगे बढ़ाना चाहते हैं और अभी अपने करियर में को सेटल करना चाहते हैं तो सर वो जा सकते हैं पर ये भी दुष्परिणाम हमने देखे हैं कि सिर्फ सोसाइटी को दिखाने के लिए कि मेरी गर्लफ्रेंड है मेरे बॉयफ्रेंड है मैं उनके साथ रहती हूँ तो ये गलत है सर अगर आप श्योर हैं अपने पार्टनर को लेके तो लिविन में जा सकते हैं बिल्कुल इट वाज नाइस मीटिंग यू थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सर